Today we're going to talk about how to make more money with Synchro by using our asset audit report to generate potential sales opportunities for both your contracted and your hourly clients. Now while there are a million things you could potentially create an opportunity from, we'll focus on just a few of the most obvious ones to get you started. Now one of the huge benefits to using the asset audit report is that it can filter results based on your existing saved searches. So let's start by creating one of those now. You can access your saved searches in the flyout menu, here, from the Assets module. Let's go ahead and create a new one. So even though we have all of these options to filter from up here, our real filtering power comes from this Asset Type dropdown, here. So first, we'll select what type of asset we want to filter for. In Synchro, you aren't just limited to assets you've installed the Synchro agent onto, you can create entirely new asset types, all with their own associated custom fields, such as printers, routers, network switches, etc. Synchro device is the one we'll select, which encompasses any asset that is associated with an installed Synchro agent. Once we do that, you'll see we can now add property conditions to our filter. This is where you can access just about every field we track for Synchro assets. In fact, if you have any custom fields you're tracking, like this one, here, you are free to use those in your filter as well. So the most obvious example here would be operating system name. You'll get a full array of options to choose from and for this example we are going to choose does not contain. And what we're going to put here is 10. What this will do is look for the name of each asset's operating system and filter out those containing the text 10, meaning Windows 10. Now let's assume we're just targeting workstations. So I'm going to add a second property condition here for the same variable and say if it doesn't contain the word server. So now any server-based operating system should be removed from our list as well, leaving us with a list of nothing but potentially vulnerable operating systems. Now we'll go to the top and name this, let's say Aging Operating Systems. So we'll save this, and now we'll head over to our Asset Audit Report. Now when we design this report, we aren't going to select a specific customer because we want to specifically know any customer worth targeting here. So we'll let this report encompass our entire customer base. We won't need to select an asset type either because that is already included in our saved asset search. So we'll click the Save Search button here and select the aging operating systems we filtered for previously. We've effectively just created an opportunity list of customers to contact for potential OS upgrades or full-blown computer replacements. From here, you can notate which customers you'll want to contact and go from there. If you notice one particular customer with a significant amount of assets with an aging OS, you can filter this report further by customer, and then export your report to a PDF and include it with your proposal. It's also worth mentioning that the columns you see here are fully customizable using the Customize button here. You can select every available field and order them as you see fit. For this example, we included the serial number and associated hardware of the asset so we can quickly and easily determine if any given asset should be queued up for replacement or just an OS upgrade. Now this style of opportunity can extend to a lot of other examples as well. For instance, just taking this list we have here, even if some of these machines did have Windows 10, I could still make the case for replacing them. For instance, I could have easily filtered assets with less than 8GB of RAM. I could potentially do the same thing for assets with less than 10% free drive space to target those for potential upgrades. The bottom line here is that we provide you the tools to quickly create potential opportunities from your existing customer base in any way you see fit. Lastly, I'd like to mention that Synchro offers a full-fledged mailer module as part of your Synchro subscription. Mailer allows you to mass market to your existing customer base or to your leads, and it also can be used to send out alert emails en masse as necessary now Mailer could encompass a video all on its own, so we won't be going into any real detail here, but I did want to show you how saved asset searches also tie in with Mailer. What you're looking at here is a test email I've set up in our Mailer module. Here we can actually set our email targets by using a saved asset search. So if I select my aging operating systems filter, now this campaign will only target the customers owning those specific assets. If I wanted to extend that to encompass the specific contacts within your customer attached to those assets, you can easily handle that scenario by selecting this box here. Lastly, if I wanted to, I could even select multiple saved asset searches at the same time. Perhaps I'd want to select all of the opportunity filters we've created simultaneously to create an aggregated list of email targets. 
Here I can send a far more generic email, simply letting my customers know we've identified some number of machines that are most likely slowing down their day-to-day -day processes, and ask for a meeting to detail that out for them. So that's how you can quickly and easily create opportunities from your existing customer base within Synchro.